Marine, um, the president said that he would stay in town until this gets finished, and you said today that he is expected to leave for Japan on Wednesday morning. So. Does that mean you are confident that this is going to get done before Wednesday morning? We're, we're confident that the conversations, at least uh, what, as it relates to the budget and the economy, as we said, we have to get back to regular order and have those conversations. And the President has said he's, he's willing to negotiate and happy to debate about his budget versus uh, Republicans' budget. Remember, his budget is going to uh, cut the deficit by $3 trillion over 10 years, and it's going to invest in America, which is what the President truly cares about, and we've seen him do the last two years. So, look, we're, he's expected to go. We're going to continue to have conversations. He's going to continue to tell Congress to do their job. It's their constitutional duty to deal uh, with the debt limit, as they have done 78 times since 1960s. None of that has changed. Uh, and so, again, expected to go, and I'll leave it there. But has the marker for whether he will stay in town changed? Because initially he said, until this gets finished. Now it sounds like you're saying, as long as there's progress, being no, made. I'm not. Uh, no, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that I spoke to the president about this. He wanted all of you to know that he is expecting to go. That's where I will leave it. I'm not going to go into uh, private discussions. I'm not going to go into negotiations. I'm not going to do that from here. What I can say is that the president, from him, and wants all of you to understand and know, and wants me to communicate that he's expecting to go next Wednesday. And then one more follow up on Title 42. You said that the American people have heard directly from the president. Why haven't migrants heard a message from the president or the vice president, um, either of them explaining the new rules or reiterating, you know, what the secretary said yesterday, not to come here if you're not going to qualify for asylum? What, where are they in terms of communicating with the people who are trying to come in? I think hearing from uh, Secretary Mayorkas is a powerful uh, messenger. He was at the border. Uh, he has was here for more than 50 minutes taking all of your questions. He's been on TV doing kind of a Rod, Ron Robin uh, today and other days as well this week. And uh, he's been very clear what the message is uh, uh, to, uh, to, to migrants who are coming. Look, our message has been very clear uh, for the past, past couple of weeks, especially as we've been putting this plan together, uh, really for the past, uh, past two years, which is uh, we got a robust plan in place to humanely manage the border through enforcement, deterrence, and diplomacy. We've been very clear. We want a system that's humane, that's orderly. That's what the President said on the first day that he walked uh, into this administration, putting forth a piece of legislation that is comprehensive. Remember, this is a, this is a problem that is decades long. Secretary Mayorkas said the last time that we have changed the law or we've seen laws change around this issue it was back in the 90s. It is more, more than time to address this issue. The President is using the tools that he has in front of him uh, to deal with this issue. And, uh, and so he'll continue to do that. But, but we have to have Congress acting. And I think, I think the President speaking very loud and clear uh, this week, or taking, I should say, taking questions from all of you, uh, and also doing an interview and answering a question about Title 42 and immigration, how we're moving forward, I think is also important. Thank you.